Hello everyone, Neo Rashi here. Uh, today I'm not going to show you video games, but it's still going to be video game related. I'm going to show you uh, all the amiibos I have. Before I start, I have to uh, make a correction on my last two videos, the PS4 and the 3DS ones. Uh, I did find the PS4 game that I thought I'd lost, and I'm going to show you right now. It's this one, Digimon World Next Order. So that was the 40th games, I thought. And I also forgot a 3DS game. It was uh, Pucci and Yoshi's, Yoshi's Woolly World. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna have to show you that amiibo as well. Anyway, sorry for the uh, bad introduction. So I'm gonna first, I'm gonna start with the uh, uh, Smash Brothers one because that's uh, the ones I have the most, and then I'll go with the other series. So. The very first amiibo I got was this Kirby. I got it with the Super Smash Brothers for the Wii U. Well, I actually bought uh, eShop credit, enough eShop credit for this game, and then I bought this one as well. I bought it for like nine dollars used. Uh, not going to show them in order necessarily, but still. This is one of the first I got as well. Toon Link. I got this this one mostly because I well I'm it's one of my main in the game and he looks pretty cool. Bowser Jr. This even though it's pretty simple, I like I like like the smile Pac-Man does. I always like this. Pac-Man pose, so main reason why I took it. And that was the last one at the EB Games I got, and uh, last one on pre-order, and someone just had canceled pre-order, so I was like, oh, I'm gonna take it. Dr. Mario, which was one of my main in the uh, in, in Super Smash Brothers Melee on the GameCube. I got Robin. I actually don't remember when I got this one. I really don't. <laughs> I got Donkey Kong. I think this is my second or third amiibo I ever got. Uh, this Shulk amiibo is the only one I actually had to import from Japan because it was like 30 Canadian bucks shipping included when most of the store either didn't have it at all or sold it for like 40 bucks minimum. So it was cheaper to import it. This is my main guy. In the game, I actually main uh, Ganondorf. So when I saw that the amiibo was released, I bought it on day one. I didn't pre order it though. But I was lucky enough to not have to kill someone to get one. Nah, just kidding. I found this one. Wait, I don't remember where. But I like Lucina. I not really good with her, but I like I like the the character itself. So got this one. And for a while, I wanted all the uh, uh, Fire Emblem characters and Ebo. So. Um, I found this one in Thunder Bay in Ontario in November 2016. Um, I actually bought Mega Man Legacy Collection a few weeks before. So when I found it, I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna be able to unlock the extra stuff that comes with it. And even the eBay Games guy was surprised that he had this one because back then it was... Uh, not ultra rare, but like one of the rarer one, I believe. Uh, this is another one I got while not at home. 
I got this one in Charlottetown in uh, Prince Edward Island uh, back in January 2016. And I don't know why my camera my camera keeps changing colors like that. Okay, so next we have Luigi. Again, I don't remember when I got it. I know it was somewhere in 2015, but I don't remember when and how I got it. All right, so I got Hollymar. Uh, Hollymar is a bit nostalgic for me, not because of Pikmin, because I actually never played Pikmin, but uh, in Super Smash Bros. Brawl, uh, Hollymar was actually the character that made me win my first online battle. Next, I have Diddy Kong. Uh, this is also one of my first amiibos. Alright, so... Now we're going to DLCs, if you know what I mean. Because I also have Lucas. And the next two I got them at the same time. So I got Cloud. Probably one of my favorite. But the sword is uh, very cheaply made. Well, the amiibos themselves are uh, pretty much cheaply made. But the sword is like seems... Uh, it's not even plastic, like it's rubber or something. And we got, I got uh, Bayonetta, another one that I thought was uh, looked cool, even though I never played the games. All right, so next I have the classic, the classic one, the ones that these three came together. I uh, got them for, I think I got them for full price at 45 bucks. Well, Canada, Canadian bucks at least. This one's probably my favorite, but in the games, uh, this is one of my main. It was my main in Brawl, but in uh, Super Smash Bros. 4, not as much. And I don't really like Rob, well, in the game, because the model itself is pretty cool. Next, another set. I have uh, the me me set. My favorite one is probably me gunner, but I do like uh, the sword man as well. I don't care too much for the uh, brawler. And my last smash. My last Smash Amiibos, I got the full Pokemon set. My first, the first one I got was uh, Pikachu. I was uh, among my five first, I believe. Then I know I got Charizard next. Then I believe it was either Greninja or Mewtwo. Then I got Jigglypuff, and last but not least, Lucario, which I bought like double the price it was originally sold, but I so wanted to get all Pokemon, I was like, ah, screw this, I'm paying for that. Okay, now that we're done with the uh, Smash Amiibos, I'm gonna go to the Mario Party Amiibos, because I only have three of them. The first one I got was Bowser, which... Uh, well, no, actually, Bowser was the second one I got, but it it did came it did come with my Mario Party 10 game. Then I got Silver Mario. This is my first. Uh, this is my first Mario amiibo, Mar Mario Party amiibo. And last but not least, and I got it brand new for cheaper than was originally sold at Toad. Uh, for people who knows about Amiibo, does this Toad unlock anything in uh, Captain's, Captain Toad's Treasure Tracker? I don't have the game, but I plan on getting the uh, uh, 3DS version. Anyway, now we're going to the plushy ones. I have two of them. 
This one was a gift from my ex back in 2016. Or, yeah, I think. Maybe 2015. But pink is one of, strangely, one of my favorite colors. So when I saw it, my ex was like, oh, I'm going to buy it for you. And, of course, I mentioned that I have the game. So, yeah, I have the Pucci Amiibo. Pretty cute, I guess. I don't really like Pucci, but the Amiibo is well done, so. All right, we're almost done. Well, more than half done, at least. I have the two 8-bit Mario ones. I have the color one, which I got in somewhere in 2016. Uh, the brown and red one that I got with the uh, the actual game. I didn't get it with, but I bought it at the same time. I have the uh, Inkling Girl, Boy and Squid from Splatoon. Uh, I actually have two copies of this one because I got these two separately and then I saw like the triple pack which had this one. So I, I never remove these two from the uh, triple pack package. So it's still somewhere uh, on that table there. I never, well, no point since I already have one of each out of the box. Also from Splatoon, I have the Kelly and Mary Amiibos. I don't remember what they do in the game. I mainly got it because I actually really like the, the characters in the game. Alright, so next we're going to Kirby territory. I have the oops, full set of... Kirby Planet Robobot Amiibos. Uh, this one actually uh, originally belonged to my ex, but I, uh, when she moved away, I decided to buy it from her because, well, she don't play her 3DS that much anymore. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna buy it like full price, like the price you paid, taxes included, and she. she at first she didn't want to, but then after insisting for a bit, she said, oh, oh all right, keep it. So yeah, but uh, got these three, I believe at the same time. I uh, know I got Waddle D after. I got these two first and then Waddle D somewhere, sometime not too long after, but my ex got this, the, this amiibo with the game on the release date. We were on vacation when the game was released. I got the uh, Wolf Link Amiibo. Uh, I got it with the uh, HD remaster of uh, Twilight Princess. Also, now that... Uh, these two were also gift from my ex. Uh, the Ocarina of Time uh, Link Amiibo and the original 8-bit Link Amiibo. And last but not least, I have the original full set of Breath of the Wild Amiibos. I know they're, they released like four or five more since the Champions, I believe. But these fives were the one that was really that were released along the game. I bought them. I pre-ordered them, but I got it. I got them like uh, a week late, I believe. Not too, not too bad, I guess. So yeah, Archer Link. Uh, we have. Oh, I forgot to mention this. Uh, like Link on a horse. Uh, Zelda. The. I think those are called Obgoblin, not not too sure. And of course the Guardian. The Guardian is pretty cool because you can actually like move his arm around. Like and they will stay there. It's even I believe the box even advertised them as being able to move them around. So I usually keep them like 
arms up like that because it takes less space. So yeah, I have, including the two amiibos that I have two copies of, like including these two, that like the, the extra two I have, I do believe I have 60 amiibos left if I counted them right. Uh, I have a couple of amiibo cars, but I, I have like two or three packs, so I'm not gonna uh, bother with those. I don't use them anymore. I don't even have the games that use them. Well, except uh, Animal Crossing uh, New Leaf that uses some of them. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Um, as usual, if you like to share your collection, just tell me uh, in the comments below or uh, put a link on your own uh, Amiibo collection videos. I'll, de I'll definitely watch them because I like to compare uh, my collection with other people. So, hope you enjoyed and see you next time.